graduation season. High schools and universities sending their best and brightest on to bigger and better things. The, though, this, though, we're showing you is a uh, unique type of graduation. Yes, some of the best and brightest are graduating. They're graduating, though, from a program called Rising Stars. Tampa Police Department, Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office partner to do this. And Colonel Chad Cronister here this morning to tell us about the uh, Rising Stars program. Chad, these are incoming high school seniors, right? They are. These are these are our juniors who graduate into into the, the next year, and um, we wanted to create a program, realizing that there's so many programs, so many diversion programs out there for our at-risk youth. There wasn't a lot to reward the students who work so hard and get it right. Uh, the chief came up with this. I understand, right? He did. This was his vision. And, and, and from what I understand, they want to demonstrate leadership skills, great attitudes, work habits. And these are kids from all over the county, right? They do. Each school is allowed to select one student. And what they do, they, they base their criteria on those who write a leadership essay, those who um, do well in school. And I think most importantly, Russell, it's based on their community service. These aren't students who just work hard. They're students who pay it forward. They're the ones who get up early and go feed the homeless yeah. or work at a shelter or do some type of youth volunteering in the afternoon. Uh, all the students are quite incredible. I love the video that, that we're seeing right now of uh, what goes on at this, <laughs> at this uh, training session. I mean, I know it's work, but it's also it looks like it's got to be a lot of fun, too. And it is. We bring them in. We expose them to a variety of speakers, business and community leaders. We bring them in. They do a ton of team building exercises, as you see. And then at the same time, we do. We expose them to a lot of fun. They get to drive our police cars. They run the obstacle course. We show them our specialty teams. They get to ride out in the boats. They even get to take a, a tour throughout the courthouse. And I heard they do crime scene investigation? They do, and I think that's really neat. They get to solve a crime. So each, each they break them up into four different groups, and they come in, they get a crime scene, and they have to try to solve the crime, which is uh, quite unique with the, um, the tools that we give them to solve it at the time. Neat. It's neat. All right, we showed some graduation pictures earlier, but uh, there's, a, there's a pretty neat payoff at the end for these kids, right? It is. We wanted to reward them. So... After a long week, they get called in, they come in with their families, they, they graduate, they get their awards for different series of accomplishments throughout the week. But then we also give them a $1,000 scholarship nice. towards their university and a laptop computer to help them get started. That's neat. <clears throat> Chad, what do you, I mean, I, obviously I, I, it's, it's great for these kids and they've worked hard and they deserve to get there. What do you hope though, once they've been through the program that they take away and take back to school? Because they're gonna be seniors. These are kids that will be seniors in high school now, right? Quite simply, Russell, we want to arm our young adults with the tools to give them an advantage through our training to be tomorrow's leaders. Nice. Very nice. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. Late night at YouTube. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> well, happy five-year wedding anniversary. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. We appreciate that. Love you, Chad. Thank uh, you. Have a great week, everyone. That. Thank you.